Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be my February favorites. All of the products that I loved during the month of February and I have a lot of newer products that came out but I also have some older products I fell in love with that were just recent additions to my collection but have existed for a long time and I just can't wait to share everything with you so let's get started. <laughs> By the way, I am back home. This is the first video I filmed after coming back from Miami and a little update on my grandma she got released from the hospital today she has to continue taking um, her treatment medicines from home but I think things went well at the hospital and I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing um, you know results from the whole treatment anyways thank you so much for all of your messages your good vibes your prayers everything is truly appreciated if you've been watching the videos i've been uploading as of lately there's been a lot of complexion releases that i have been reviewing concealers foundations etc and one of the new foundations i tried this month was the makeup forever hd skin foundation makeup forever is getting rid of their ultra hd foundation and this is their new foundation that is out i will say i actually like this one better than the previous one because with the previous previous one I never felt like the coverage could be built up enough and I also felt like I sometimes could see texture on my skin a little bit and I feel like this formula fixes those issues for me this is the one that I am wearing today and as you can see it looks really nice on my skin it has a beautiful natural finish it never looks dry on my skin I love the medium coverage this is a really great everyday foundation I just uploaded my top 10 foundations of all time video and I wanted to let you know that this one wasn't included because that video was filmed before I tried this foundation I was preparing to go to Miami and I think actually I probably had just gotten it um, but if I were to refilm that video now this might maybe be included in there I definitely have to continue trying it and playing with it but I certainly wanted to let you know that this foundation has become a favorite I just love the performance of it I love that it looks natural it doesn't give my skin texture it doesn't dry out on my skin it definitely has all of the things I like in a foundation and I also love the new and improved packaging of it I love that it has a glass jar now anyways I have absolutely been loving that one and so of course I needed to share that with you and there's also a concealer product that I have been loving this month that is also newer and that is this one right here I probably tried four to five new concealers this month and this is the only one that made it to my favorites video because I could find things that were wrong with the rest of them and this one right here is simply perfection I highly recommend it this is the LYS triple fix full coverage concealer it's hydrating it's creamy you can build it up really easily I will say definitely make sure you set it real nicely with some powder because it being so hydrating um, means that it moves a little bit more and so it definitely creased on me on the side where I didn't set it with some powder but on the side where I set it with some powder it lasts beautifully it looks super smooth it doesn't crease and of course my favorite is that it's super super hydrating on my under eyes it's so easy to blend just a fantastic fantastic concealer and I believe this one's only either 16 or 18 dollars so it's pretty reasonably priced it has beautiful luxurious packaging honestly not enough good things I can say about the LYS concealer I highly recommend it and it's definitely one of the best products I tried during the month of February now at the beginning of the video I mentioned that I wanted to tell you about some products that aren't necessarily new but they're new to me and I have absolutely fallen in love with them and this right here is one of them this is the benefit micro filling pen this has three little tips to it so it draws 
hair like strokes on your eyebrow i have mine in the shade deep brown and i have absolutely been loving this thing it quickly became an everyday use type of product for me it definitely helps me to fill in my eyebrows really nicely on the areas where i don't have hairs and i want a little bit more volume per se it looks very very natural i remember when this first came out i heard my friend erin nicole um, raving about it and I was always intrigued by it but for some reason I never got it and I get the hype now I do really like it and I highly recommend that it. it's one of the best um, eyebrow pens I've tried I think um, out of all of the high-end eyebrow pens I've tried this is my favorite because I do like it even more than the Anastasia one I just find that the Anastasia one can sometimes be like too much like um, it drips out easily and so I feel like this one is a little bit more easy to control a little bit more natural looking and I just absolutely love it there's another product from Benefit that is new to me but has been out for a while that I discovered this month and that is this right here the highlighter in the shade tickle this highlighter has an amazing formula I love how like intense it is but at the same time it kind of melts right into the skin it doesn't look thick or powdery on the face which is definitely things that I look forward to highlighters not being I like them to be shiny but um, for them not to be super obvious so when I turn my head right here you definitely see that it's a super vibrant highlighter um, but it just looks kind of more on the natural side. I find that it doesn't emphasize my texture more. And I absolutely love the beautiful, like, pink undertone that this highlighter has. Check it out right there on the back of my hand. It just looks so beautiful. I've had a blast with this highlighter from Benefit this month. It's quickly become one of my favorite highlighters and I just can't believe that I didn't know about it for so long. I know that there's another one called Cookie that is more of a champagne toned highlighter that is also pretty popular. I actually had heard of Cookie before but never Tickle and so I wanted to tell you about it because it is amazing. Incredible formula from Benefit and I honestly don't think that these get um, enough hype, you know, so try it out, try it out. I have one more complexion product to share with you this month. I feel like I have a little bit of everything today and that is the new blush from Patrick Ta. I knew kind of that I would love this because I love the Patrick Ta blush formulas and this color is just right up my alley. It's like a muted natural blush color, not too peachy, not too pinky, just like right up my alley, right? The name of the shade is She is Blushing and of course it is the blush that I'm wearing today. I just feel like these types of color blush um, suit me real nicely. This is super pigmented. You have to be extremely careful with how much you put on. But at the same time, it is pretty easy to control. So I love the way that this looks on my cheeks. And for a while now, I have loved Patrick Taz blush formula. So if you've been thinking about this one, I do highly recommend it. And I think it's now my new favorite single um, blush from Patrick Ta as far as the shade is concerned. I think this is my number one right here. I do have an eyeshadow palette favorite for this month. Even though this past month of February was not big on eyeshadow palettes, I think I did videos on two. Um, but of course, of course, the Odin's Eye palette with Angelica Nyqvist is a favorite for this month. I had so much fun playing with this one. It is, of course, the palette that I am wearing today. The bottom row is definitely my favorite, and of course, it is what I'm wearing mainly um, on my eyes today. This palette is so pigmented, but the shades are very blendable at the same time. It has an amazing color story and, of course, beautiful formulas. I did hear that this one is now sold out, so a huge congratulations to Angelica for selling out her palette. And um, if you were thinking about it but didn't get it on time, I'm sorry. It is an amazing palette, especially if you like the green color story because that's mostly what's in here um but even if you don't and you're more into like these types of color that I'm wearing it's just fantastic so of course no doubts about it the Gila palette had to be in this video and now we are getting into the lip products I have five lip products to 
talk to you guys about three of which I can kind of talk about at once because it's basically the whole Natasha Denona I need a rose lip collection except for one thing hold on there's one that shouldn't be here I'll tell you about it in a second. Pretty much every single one of these was a favorite for me this month. I loved all three of the color stories and I just kicked out one thing and I'll tell you what it was and it is um, this lip pencil right here. So I loved everything except for the peony lip pencil because the peony lip pencil is just way too light cool pinky for me and my complexion it just didn't look right however i am keeping in my favorites the peony lipstick and lip gloss because paired with a different lip liner these actually look amazing i just have to use a lip liner that is at least darker than my natural lip color and the peony lip liner isn't however the lipstick and gloss definitely work for me paired with other lip liners and i am um, in love the natasha denona lip liner formula is the most incredible it's super creamy very blendable super easy to apply but at the same time it is extremely extremely long lasting so if you've been thinking about this collection and the lip liner specifically i highly recommend daphne and kala i think daphne is actually my favorite i love kala because it's more nude more up my alley but daphne is just a beautiful beautiful warmish type of a rose tone and I love both of these. I just switched my lipstick real quick because I wanted to show you. Throughout the whole video I've been wearing the lip liner in the color Kala from Natasha and I think I might have had um, either Kala or Daphne as my gloss in the center but I honestly don't remember which of the two. Now I went ahead and changed it so I can show you. So right now I'm wearing Kala still as my lip liner but I switched my gloss to the color Peony because I wanted to show you how the Peony gloss with a different lip liner definitely works so this is what it looks like right here i like the pinky color in the center but i like my lips to still be defined around it and this right here is a new lip gloss formula from natasha denona if you like the pat mcgrath lip gloss formula which has been my favorite for a while now you will like this new natasha denona lip gloss formula because I think they remind me a lot of one another. They smell nice, they go on easily, they're a little pigmented but not too pigmented and they are not sticky at all which is amazing because I really dislike <laughs> sticky glosses so highly recommend these. Here is a swatch of the lip gloss shades. Daphne at the top, Peony in the center, and Kala at the bottom. So you can kind of see the color differences. These just have a fantastic formula and I honestly really love all three of the gloss colors. And then in the same order, those are the lipsticks swatched right there. So we have Daphne, Peony, and Kala. And I absolutely also love and recommend the new lipstick formula from Natasha Denona. I think the main difference I see between this lip formula and her previous one, which I also loved, is that sometimes with this one, I have to go back a second time to get full pigment intensity and it might be a little bit shinier than the previous one but honestly her old formula of lipstick I loved and this newer formula of lipstick I also love and highly recommend. Another lipstick formula I fell in love with this month was this right here. This is the new Kaja Love Swipe um, lipsticks. They definitely feel more like a hydrating, balmy, glossy type of a lip product rather than a lipstick. I'm not sure if lipstick is the correct terminology, but these are amazing. I have mine in the color 02 Sweet Softy and I just love the way that these go on the lips. Let me just show you. Okay, here you go. These just look so natural too. Take a look and tell me that doesn't look spectacular. I just love how natural these look. I don't feel like they wear for like that long. I definitely have to reapply them after at least a couple of hours, but they feel like I'm just wearing a lip balm. They are super hydrating. They give me a little bit of color and they just look so natural. So highly recommend these. Absolutely love them. I feel like I haven't liked a Kaja product in a 
long time. I don't think I've ever had a Kaja product be a favorite product, um, but these little lip products are killing it. And I have one more lip product I fell in love with this month and I wanted to show you, of course, and that is the new Fenty lipstick. I was not expecting this formula. I was, for some reason, expecting maybe something a little bit more matte. These are just, they're different than regular lipsticks. And I'll also take this off to show you because these are crazy. Let me explain. Hold on, hold on. So the Fenty lipsticks go on with full pigmentation, glide on very, very easily last for a pretty good amount of time. They have a glowish finish and they feel like you're wearing a lip balm. They are amazing and they also smell pretty good. This color doesn't necessarily go with my eye look, but I just had to show you this formula. I have two colors. The color I'm wearing, which is the color Scholar Sister, and then I also got Posey Queen, which is more of a nudie brown type of a shade also beautiful i really hope she does some sort of a shade expansion on these lipsticks at one point maybe i'm hoping for some more nudes that look like the rest of the lipsticks in my collection <laughs> but anyways the lipsticks have the most amazing formula and the two colors that i got i actually see myself using okay so that is it those are all of the products that i loved during the month of february honestly more than i expected because it was kind of a weird month with releases but i'm definitely very happy with all of these products that i tried and also the two benefit products that aren't new but i fell in love with this month if you guys liked the video don't forget to please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please subscribe before you leave i love you guys so so much thank you for being here and i hope to see you back in the next video bye